Okay, so now I'm on the Galactica, and um, things have changed considerably. So let me unmount anything I had mounted there. Let me go to. I want to go ahead and connect to the Pegasus, and take it down to its most simplistic level because we haven't set up DNS yet, and we haven't added any entries to our host file, so we're not yet really using name resolution. We did everything by IPs and let's see what shares are available and I restarted the um, you know the Samba daemon and the NetBias name daemon so it'll take a minute to sync up okay and here are the shares we shared out in our Samba conf file and let's kind of test them one by one so remember this was the read-only share that did not require authentication and let's see if we can go there and let's test it and make sure it's read-only yes and in this case read-only file system so we know permissions are set correctly there and whenever you're setting up a file server, I would do this. You know, access control is very important. You want to make sure the right people have the right permission and the right access to their data, but the wrong people don't. So you want to test everything that you do in, in every way possible. Um, but you know, certainly on the, I would get on the client side and test everything on the server and tweak and tweak and tweak and tweak until things are what they should be. So that's public. Um, now let's do read-only ext4. We can get in there, but it, again, it should be read-only. So we should be denied in good. It's a read-only file system. We can't. So that's exactly what we want. That's what's expected. So that was public and read. They're both read-only. Now this one should be writable. So we can get into it. Now it should allow us to create a folder. And it did. And now it should allow us to create a file. And it did. And it should allow us to delete objects. The sticky bit's not been set, so let's try this. Okay, and it did. And it should allow us to delete a folder. And let's do this and it did. Alright, so that's as expected. We've tested three and they are performing as expected. Now remember this folder should be authenticated. It is not a, a guest access has been disabled so it should require our user account with um, you know with the Samba user. And in this case the Samba account that I created was net user and right, maybe it was Windows user, I can't remember. It was a Windows user. Windows user and um hmm. there we go. It was Windows user. Okay, so that's our there's our authenticated folder. And again we, we set it up as read only. So that's performing as as ex expected. That's what we want. Now that only leaves our NTFS shares. Um, let's go look at downloads and see what's there. And in this case, remember that we wanted to enable write access. And this is an NTFS partition mounted automatically via our FS tab file when we boot up the server. And we can create and we can delete. So that is what we want. That is as is expected. And last but not least, we were going to go into this folder and let's make sure that we don't have permission and again that is as expected it's read only so we cannot delete so you know the client side uh, on, on an Ubuntu system test out and everything looks okay and is as it should be okay I'm on a, a Windows 7 client and Let's take a look at, at the uh, shares on Pegasus and see how they perform and what they look like. Um, so 199 and 207 and 13.10. And in this case, um, I need to use my Samba user. It performs a little bit differently than it did with Ubuntu and XP. Um, Windows user. And let me use in the Galactica domain. Okay. And here we are. And let me kind of stretch this over a little bit so you can see all the shares. And again, let's start out first. We'll test public. So I can go into the public share, but remember that should be read only. Okay, good. And in this case, that's read only, as it should be. Now I'm going to go into the ext4 read-only. 
and again that's read only as it should be and now I'm going to go into the ext4 writable and I should be able to create and delete objects here and so I created a folder and um, I'll just select all these objects here and I'll delete them across the network and again that performs as it should um, make a blank Microsoft Excel spreadsheet there <laughs> and finally let's look at the shared NTFS partitions on the Pegasus server um, so remember downloads was mounted via the F FS tab and the ETC folder and it was writable and I can create and delete objects in that folder and if I go to the movies folder here remember that was read only and in Windows 7 if I try to make a folder I cannot okay so um, from XP and Ubuntu and Windows 7 three different clients um, our Windows Samba Ubuntu 10.10 uh, Maverick Meerkat file server uh, is functioning properly as it should. And now I can go back and tweak my POSIX permissions and my Samba comp file to kind of tighten up security and, and you know basically just only allow the specific permissions that users and groups would need. Okay, um, we're on a Windows XP host, a really slow one, by the way. Um, it's a really old one, single single processor, so it's not going to be that. And I'm trying to do video capture on it, so you know, please pardon the the tart the the slowness of this. But I want to connect to Pegasus this time. That was the server we set our Samba shares on. We tested it from Ubuntu over our Samba shares, so now let's test it from a Windows client. And again, we'll just go through our basic permissions. So remember, public was read only. We can get in there, but I should not be allowed to create anything. So I try to make a text document access is denied. That's good. That's what we want by design. Um, now let's test read only. And same thing. Let me try and make a folder or file access denied. That's good. And now let's try. Let's go to the writable ext. And we'll go here. I you know, just kind of want you to see what this looks like from Windows. And yes, now I can make both files and folders. And by design, so that's performing as expected from the client. Remember, this was the authenticated folder where guest access was, you know, we set it to no. Guest OK equals no. And so now it's going to ask me for a password. And I believe it was Windows user. I have a hard time remembering that. And Windows user okay but it's read only and so again if I go here and I try to make a folder access and I said okay that's by design and then the last two we wanted to test were the NTFS shares what was mounted in the FS tab on Pegasus so I'm going to go over and the the writable one was here downloads and so from the Windows client can I make a folder yes I can and from the Windows client can I make a text document Yes, I can. And from the Windows client, can I delete them? And yes, I can. Okay, so everything looks okay there. And then again, by design, let's check out movies and make sure that you know this should be read only. We should not be able to make anything or create anything here. So I go here and I try to make a text document. Good. Access denied. And good. And folder. And access denied. Okay, so. That's, you know, from a Windows client from XP, everything is as it should be.